Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Pisces, welcome to your April reading. Who is coming towards you? What is coming towards you? You might not see or you might see. You might know or you might don't. It's the first reading we are doing for April. Quite strong energies. Speaking of, we do have a new moon in Aries on the 1st of April. Yes, many of you may feel well. It's the Fool's Day. No, it is not. Sometimes the new moons brings a lot of energies that you got to be ready for. The new moon in Aries which you know, Aries is ruled by Mars, a very strong masculine energy out there. Whatever you wanted to do, trying to do, or have been procrastinated to go after, now is a good time to go get it. Either it's a job, a person, a business, whatever it is, taking action. Also, we do have in the mid-month, on the 16th, a full moon in Libra, which Libra is right the opposite of Aries. If Aries is all about me, 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 now is my time, Libra is also about our time, our stuff, our soul. And Libra, full moon in Libra, speaks about balance, give and take. And also sometimes when we are caught up in the things to go do that, very busy. Libra is the cool off, chill out kind of a thing. Take your time, reflect. Are you in a balanced energy? Do you support that cause you are into? Are you in a balanced situation? And so on. So, yeah, loves, that's quite a brief for the month, but let's see, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, Sun, Venus. The oracles are for the end of the reading, for messages and advice. No, loves, general readings, as always, may kind of resonate. And for some of you, might be even looking like a personal reading, and sometimes might be one message or two. Sometimes I might bring in here one message, one story, and sometimes just a few bits of messages. Take loves when mostly connects and speaks to you, leave what doesn't. The overarching energy for the reading, we have Page of Cups. Queen of Cups. And Eight of Swords. Many of you Pisceans, you don't see coming here, but there is an apology. Or there is someone here coming forward. And you never thought that this person is not actually moved on from you. You could not be moved on from them. But I feel here there is something here coming on. And... Will pull like, oh, what I gotta do with you, kind of a thing. Let's see. Ace of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Hierophant, Nine of Cups. Three of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever is coming towards you, Pisceans, is meant to come to you. The divine timing and it's in your destiny. I feel here someone here got through a lot of things in the past three years. 
but I indeed made a lot of effort to come forward towards you. I have for you Pisces, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be as well another water energy. Let's see here this Ten of Wands. Four of Wands, Three of Wands, and Page of Wands. So here we are. We get a message, we get an apology, we get a talk. This person could be from the distance, or they've been distance quite a while from you. For some of you, you've been resisting this person or resisting to communicate with them. I feel here they found out how to. You know, if someone wants something, anyway, they will go after it. The Eight of Swords in overall energy, yeah, you could not communicate because you resisted here. There was a lot of resistance between you two. But never moved on. The connection between you two were in limbo. But now it's moving on. And I feel here for many, many of you might not see how to with the Six of Wands. For some of you, you might feel like, well, I moved on, it's fine. And, and, but I feel here only now things will move on. And there is an offer of love. A small clarification for this King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and a Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So we need here whoever comes, Pisceans, they come with an apology. And they put a lot of effort, whatever they've been into. And now they are here for you. And for some of you, this one is for real. The only ace is missing here is Ace of Swords. And Ace of Swords speaks about, I'm real. I'm clear about what I want. And I'm here because... I truly there for you. So whomever is this person, I I believe the energy speaks very, very strongly about fire energy, but they could have earth in their chart, which earth energy, it's more like roundness as well. They are thinking of something stable out there with you. And indeed here, there was something here in their past that could not be possible for this connection to move on. Also, they are thinking that you are moving on. And that they kind of will regret the whole life if you are moved on. Let's see. If there is a possibility here that you two to be together, as we have the Wheel of Fortune here, the Divine Timing, it's here at help. Let's see, what's the message from the universe to the Pisceans? What's the message here? So a lot, a lot of communication coming in. And not only for you, Pisces, for 
every single zodiac sign a lot of things are starting others ending a lot of clarity for many many comes in nine of pentacles somebody here does know their words and nine of pentacles very much speaks about single I am now single or I am single seven of swords for some of you Pisces I feel here you you don't really trust that this person is single or that they are here for you for real eight of cups they are searching for you and they still wants to be part of your life two of cups yes I feel here this person left somebody behind but indeed here they want to be with you and move forward with you I feel here also if there will be healing it's a very good possibility so the things to move into a beautiful connection but I feel here somebody here doesn't really trust the other one and see here what the oracle speaks. It's like Pisces here feels like, you know, my intuition speaks that um, I doubt that you've been changed or that you've changed in any way. But the oracle speaks go the distance. Time to go if you can leave behind certain things then build a new foundation but if you feel that things will be the same let it go completely you Pisces you are at the crossroads choose it you are the one to choose. And I feel here that you, the, there is love, but also there is a, a feeling from the past that cannot let you go. Serendipity and co-create. So could be a very good energy between you two, of course, if you believe. And at the same time, if you can forgive. So again, you are the one to choose. Blessing Pisces. I hope this connects you. If it does, let me know down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe, like, and share if you feel that these energies are like yours. And till the next time, namaste.